Alright everybody, I'm going to show you what I've been up to. Uh, I just turned it on and I'm going to show you with my ghetto set up here how much it does uh, I guess in one minute. Hopefully you can see the second hand. And uh, this is just uh, a couple minutes after I plugged it in. So uh, once it gets to uh, uh, 12, that up here, I'll plug it in and hopefully you'll be able to see how much it's doing right now. <coughs> if I don't mess it up. Alright. One, two, three. It's going to hold it so it doesn't uh, start flying away. That's 15 seconds right there. Thirty seconds. Forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight. Forty-eight seconds, and you can see it's bubbling out the top now. That's a uh, one liter of, uh, you know, dark pepper. One liter. And after it warms up, it'll do a little bit more than that. Um, I'll let it run for a little bit and let it warm up, and then I'll come back and do it again. All right, here we go again. I just let it warm up just a little bit more, but I'm getting tired of waiting. So we'll do it right on 60, which is four, three, two, one, go. Hopefully you're able to see that. Try to hold it over here and maybe you can see it a little better. There's 30 seconds and it's pretty much done. I don't know how far these are actually full. Bubbles, that was at about 36 seconds. So I'd probably get about two liters a minute with this. And I'll turn it so you can see what's going on here. If I can maneuver this thing. There's a bubbler. There's the little mini quarter size of Bob Boyce design. It's that 61 plates, so a 60 cell. Uh, each plate in there is uh, like three by three because that's all I had and uh, it's just plugged right into the wall grid rectifier right into the wall so 110 or whatever it equals out to be going through that and right now it's about two liters a minute I can get more than that if I want but the It'll start to get a little warm. So, yeah. There you go. Probably a little over two liters a minute. Oh, and I know you guys are all jealous with my uh, stopwatch and my whole setup here. I'm actually uh, putting it on this lawnmower over here. And maybe I'll just take this camera off to show you. So I've got a external coil going to the spark plug right here and I have a circuit inside that every time let me scoot this out. There you go. And I got a timing chain on the bottom right now. So every time the crankshaft spins, it'll spin this once, or this twice, this once, and there's a magnet right there. And there's a reed switch right back here. So every time, you know, it passes by, it'll spark. 
and uh, I've got the circuit inside. I've tried it out to uh, see if I could get it to run off two or three liters, and I can't. So, yeah. That's where I'm at so far. I actually had it on here at one time, but that was a little too ghetto and messed up. So I put it back on here. And that'll be it. I just need to get more hydrogen. But it looks uh, looks like it makes a crap load. How about them shaky hands? I guess it'd probably make a good torch. I don't know. I'm not sure what to use for the tip to prevent it from backfiring. So yeah, I guess comments welcome. And uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, so send me a message. That's it.